All right, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. This is our last Twitch live stream that we have today for my intro to Psych online classes. I see a bunch of you getting logged in, getting your names in the chat. Uh, good morning. Uh, hard to believe it, but this is our last week of the semester. So we are definitely uh, in our last and, and kind of final days. I wanna go over kind of the remaining elements that we have for this week. Uh, and that will be it. So uh, we'll uh, go over the things that we have going on for this week. I'll give you the last Twitch extra credit question of the semester. If you have any questions for me about the closing assignment or the final or any of those materials, this would be a wonderful time to ask them. And then after that, I will just uh, wish you all a fantastic summer and say goodbye, which is always a little bit sad, uh, but it is definitely also a little bit exciting that we have reached the end of the semester. One of the strangest uh, semesters ever. It didn't affect us as much because we were fully online, uh, but several of my classes were online and on ground and then online and on ground and it was just kind of all over the place. So um, anyway, thank you for those of you who are here with me. Let's go ahead and go over to Canvas and take a look at uh, what we have going on for this week. Uh, so as I said, if you scroll all the way down, we are here. We're in week number 17 of the semester, 17 long weeks that we have spent together January feels like a very, very long time ago <laughs> at this point. So uh, what we have going on at this point, uh, I have graded everything from last week, right? So week number 16 has been graded, all of the, the discussions, all of the extra credit, all of that kind of stuff. No worries, Naomi, thanks for, thanks for joining us. We're just starting, so you're okay. Uh, so what we have now is we are in week number 17, and this week's a little different. We don't have any discussions, there's no lectures. This week is all kind of final materials. So what we have this week is we have the closing assignment, which we'll talk about. We have exam number four, and um, obviously the study guide that goes with that, that we'll talk about. Um, I have a little anonymous uh, closing class survey to go over, an SLO question, which a lot of you have already done to talk about um, the extra credit that we have, uh, and that is it. So um, a couple of reminders really quickly uh, before we get into this. If you could take one last moment to just double check that you're still subscribed. So many of you have fallen off. And again, as I'm uh, grading this last discussion, this last, uh, sorry, uh, Twitch session, it would be really helpful uh, to record those of you who are subscribed. Joely, Bernaldo, Bitten, Anna, um, all of you um, have lost that status. So um, again, if you could just take a moment to renew that one last time or just double check that you're renewed, that would be great. The other reminder I have for you um, is this is our last Twitch live stream and the class officially ends this Sunday night. I'm putting this in the chat. This Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. So our class officially ends this Sunday, which is the 15th. So we'll say that again. Sunday, May 15th at 11.59 p.m. So please make sure every single item that you want counted toward your grade has been submitted at that point. Uh, this week, I cannot give extensions. There are no um, extenuating circumstances. I need everything turned in by 11.59 p.m. if you want it to count toward your grade. Final grades are due uh, within 48 hours, excuse me, 48 hours after um, our class has ended. So really, really important that if you want it to count, uh, you get it submitted to me by this Sunday night. So please try and plan ahead, give yourself a little bit of extra time. Um, once the deadline has passed, our class is over and I won't be able to accept anything from you. Uh, one other thing I'd like to ask you to do, and I've mentioned this a few times, please make sure that you are checking your grades. If you click on grades, my grades are shameful, right? It's all these zeros, right? I submitted nothing. I have failed my own class. <laughs> uh, but please make sure you take a moment and go through all of your grades. If something looks wrong, if something is incomplete, this is a really good time to reach out to me and let me know. Uh, once the class is over and I submit final grades, it's a pain to go back and change things. Right now is a good point. Uh, if you are missing an exam score and you believe you took it, if uh, there's a discussion that looks blank, if you don't understand one of your scores, reach out to me, email me, we can take a look at it together. 
once the deadline for this week has passed and I submit your final score, we have to have papers signed. There's deans that need to be involved. Uh, so it's very easy to change those things now, not so much in a couple of days. So uh, please take a moment, double check that. Let me know if anything looks wrong and, uh, and then we can go ahead and try and fix it. So if you could just keep those things in mind as we get uh, through this week, again, everything in before Sunday night, please make sure that you are still subscribed. If you are on here live with me, that would make my life so much easier. Thank you so much. Uh, and then don't forget to check your grades and reach out to me uh, if anything looks incorrect. Otherwise, you really have a couple of other components left. You have the closing assignment, which is worth 25 points. The final were 75 points and then the closing um, class survey and the SLO, um, which are not worth points, but then the extra, extra credit worth those last two points of extra credit. So let's look at the closing assignment together. Uh, and that's something that's definitely different. A few of you have already done it. The whole goal with this closing assignment is to get you to think back over the course of the semester and come up with five different concepts that you could apply to your life in some way. So you'll look over the, a list, and I'll show you that on the previous uh, page in a second. And then you're going to choose five different concepts or topics that you can apply to your life. And you're gonna be following a very specific format for this. It's not necessarily a paper as much as it's just five different, uh, five different elements. So for each concept, you will give me the term or concept that we covered. You will define it. This can be copied from your textbook. That's totally fine, or even from the lecture. And then the bulk of your points are going to come from application. So you're going to take some time to describe to me how that term or concept makes sense of something that happened in the past, or maybe how that term or concept can guide you in a real life situation right now or in the future. Make sure the application is very specific, that it, uh, it's connecting all of the dots together. This is your chance to show off that you understand how that concept could be helpful. So let's say, for example, the term would be operant conditioning, right? That you understand. Let's go even more specific. Let's say positive reinforcement. The definition you would put here that we're increasing the behavior through adding something pleasant or desirable, the type of operant conditioning. And your application, maybe you could talk about, I now understand how I could positively reinforce my pet for um, a behavior that they're doing. That I could give my dog a treat, which would be a positive reinforcer, uh, which would only encourage my dog to continue doing that behavior more and more in the future. Right? So you're taking that term or concept, defining it, and then applying it to your life in a very specific way. Uh, you're going to format your um, things along this line. You're going to number one through five. So this would be number one, and then you would do the same for number two, and number three, and number four, and number five. This should obviously be typed. You're going to be submitting it right here where it says start assignment. Um, you can upload a file, doc, docx, pdf, and rtf. This is due by this Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. It's been open for you for a couple of weeks, so some of you have done it, uh, but make sure that you are typing it up, you're submitting it here. Here is the rubric for you. You can see it's worth 25 points, five points for each term or concept. Um, so full points all the way down to uh, obviously not submitting it and getting no points. Um, if we go back on the previous page, I have given you a couple other um, elements to help you out with this. Uh, I made a concept list for you. So it occurred to me that there are quite a few concepts that we've covered. Maybe you're having a hard time narrowing it down. So what I did is I went through for each chapter and wrote out some of the big key terms and concepts that we've covered. So you can always look through this and see if anything jumps out at you. Maybe something on here um, is more relevant than something else. Um, and so that would be a term that you could choose. And again, you're choosing five specific terms or concepts that we have covered over the semester. The other page that I gave you right here um, is a sample. So I gave you a sample submission of what this would look like. Um, so again, it's kind of a specific format. I'm not looking for you to write like a paper with transitions and so on. More that you follow the specific style. So number one, your term egocentrism, definition of that term, and then application of that term. Number two, negative reinforcement, definition, how could you apply it? Number three, fundamental attribution error, definition, how could you apply it, and so on. So again, follow that very specific format. These can be from all the same chapter. They can be from across the chapters. It's totally up to you. But say one would be positive reinforcement. Another one is maybe memory. Maybe another one is uh, something with remembering dreams, right? So just anything that has stood out to you, I hope there's at least five things that you can take away from this class. But at the minimum, I'm looking for five, five points each for a total of 25 points. 
Um, I hope that makes sense. Sometimes this can be a little bit confusing. Um, are there any any questions at all? Any questions about the closing assignment at all before I move on? Questions at all? Again, a few of you have already done this. Um, as long as you follow the format, really talk about the application. You'll be in beautiful shape. You'll get those full points. Uh, just make sure that you are following that format. Um, while I'm waiting, I'm going to keep going, but if you think of anything, of course, put it in there. Um, we have exam number four. Exam number four is on the ebook site, just like the first three exams. You have a study guide, just like with the first three exams. So make sure that as you're preparing for the test, that you know all of these terms. If it's on here, it will be on the exam. If it's not on here, you don't need to know it. So know all these terms from chapter 13 on stress and health. Chapter 14 on the disorders, 15 on the therapies and treatments, and 16 on social psychology. Really make sure that you're studying, preparing, that you're organized. I don't want you to run out of time, which you definitely will be tight on time if you're looking everything up. So uh, try and look all these up. Try and have it written out, typed out, studied, ready to go. Please, 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 please. Of all of the exams, uh, do not wait till the last minute. Again, this week is the last week of our class. So if you wait to take this till Sunday night and you have a problem, it might be too late come Monday for me to open things up for you to take this and finish it. So please try and take it Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning even, uh, and reach out to me right away if you run into an issue. Uh, normally we'd have a little bit of leeway, but because the class is over after this, uh, it definitely puts a little more pressure. So just try not to wait till the last minute, get this done early, uh, and hopefully you won't run into any problems whatsoever. You also have um, some SLO questions. The psychology department uh, has two questions that we would like to ask all students who are leaving or finishing a class. And so this isn't worth any points. You have as much time as you want. It should only take you like one minute max. But when you're ready, please hit take the survey. And then all you're going to do is answer these two questions. They're both multiple choice. Which of the following makes psychology a science? And if a study found a relationship between social media and eating disorders in adolescents 12 to 18 years of age from California, which of the following would be true? Uh, and when you're ready, hit submit. Again, it's not worth, I know it says one point, but it's not worth any points whatsoever. This is just um, a way for the psychology department to gather a little bit of data. So SLO stands for Student Learning Outcomes or Objectives. And so this allows us to see uh, what you're taking away in a very kind of uh, concrete way. Uh, from our classes. So please take a moment to do that if you can. Again, it's not worth points, but it will be helpful for the department and for the college. You also have a short uh, anonymous closing class survey. This is just for me. So for me, this is your opportunity to tell me what could be done better, what did you like or not like about the class. Um, this is really me trying to make the class better. Um, so there's five questions and you have as much time as you would like. Is there anything you would have liked to know about this class before taking it that might have made it a better experience for you? Please rate your responses to each statement, right? I want you to let me know, was the course organized? Was things, were things presented clearly? Please be honest, it's not worth points, so it's just you telling me um, how I can make things better. Which class component did you like the most and the least? Is there any feedback that you would give me re uh, about the ebook and the ebook site? Uh, what did you like? What could be improved? And do you have any closing comments that you would like to add to help me create a better course in the future? So again, this is just you sharing with me any closing thoughts that you might have. I really appreciate your honesty. It will only allow me to make the class better for future students. Um, so thank you so much for your feedback and honesty uh, related to that and taking the time to do it. And then you do have an optional extra credit question, which I'll give you here in a second. It's kind of piggybacking off of the anonymous uh, class survey. But are there any other questions, thoughts, comments, anything before I give you that extra credit um, question? I'll copy it and put it here uh, into the chat. But are there any questions or thoughts or comments that I can answer for you while you are here with me, here with me live before I give you that extra credit question? Again, um, just one last time reminding you, please, please don't wait till the last minute try and get everything done and uh, submitted before Sunday night uh, or earlier if possible. Uh, the extra credit question for this week is give me one specific thing you enjoy and one specific thing you would make better. And this can be the same thing that you put in the survey. 
Uh, but I just want to make sure I get this feedback from all of you to make the class as good as possible in the future. One specific thing that you would change and one thing that you would make better. And I'm sure you're very familiar with this by now, but when you're ready, you'll go to optional extra credit number 17. And that's where you will submit that uh, to get those two points of credit. And again, if you're watching this later, if you're not watching this live with me right now, please make sure that you are subscribed so that I have um, a way to record your uh, attendance. If you aren't, I won't have any idea that you watched it. So please uh, double check that really quickly. Last chance to, uh, to do that for the semester. Thank you for those of you all semester long who have stayed subscribed uh, and made my life easier. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'd also just like to thank you for a really nice uh, semester. It's been a great class. I feel like it's gone really smoothly. I hope that you feel the same way. Um, I feel like you all have understood my expectations and have done a great job. Um, a lot of you have attended these Twitch sessions live. I hope that they've been helpful as a way for us to check in. Uh, and I really, really look forward to reading your feedback. Again, please be honest. I won't be hurt or offended. Uh, I just would like to make sure that I'm always evaluating and trying to make the class better. So uh, I think that's everything that I have for you. I always hate the last uh, session because I don't want it to end, but thank you so much for all of you who attended live. Thank you for all of your uh, participation and questions. I hope you all have a wonderful summer. Good luck with your other finals. Uh, feel free to take other classes with me in the future. If you haven't had enough, come join me for abnormal psych or research methods or even human sexuality in the fall and spring semesters. Uh, if you need this class again or have someone you know who needs it, um, I do teach a four-week section of this in the summer, so uh, feel free to sign up or encourage others to sign up for that. But thank you. Thank you again. Um, I've really appreciated and enjoyed our time. I'm going to minimize our video here um, so I'm not staring at myself and you don't see me get all sad and sentimental. But if you have any questions for me, I will hang out um, for a little bit, and I'm here. Uh, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad that you enjoyed the class. Have a wonderful summer to you as well, Joelle. Um, I hope you both have a great summer break. It is coming. Hang in there. We are almost there. That summer break is coming very, very soon. And again, I will hang out for a little bit, uh, and then I'll obviously post uh, the recording of this when we're done today. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the chat. And again, good luck Get going on this week's materials, and I will uh, hope that I see some of you in future classes. Thank you. Thank you as well, Kylie.